In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't solvent weld a joint properly. And what I mean is we've got two pipes coming together. One slides into a bell end, and that's a you take a that's a glue joint, or we call it glue joint, but it's solvent welding. Or if you're going into a fitting. But let me show you what happens when you don't do it properly. And over time, this is what ends up happening. Let me show you something. I don't know if you can see that water running right there. What it is, it's coming out of right here. Well, this is a glue joint. This is actually a bell end on this side. Pipe going in on that side. I find this more and more, it seems like, and run into these kinds of things all the time, but it seems like I'm running into them even more now, is that this joint right here was not glued properly. Now, it lasted I don't know how many years, but now it's blown apart, and I can tell you right now, this was not... Uh, glued properly and we say glue it's solvent welding this was not solvent welded good at least good enough to last a lifetime of the system so now I'm over here trying to dig this thing up and it's got to get it fixed but had this been done properly in the first place we wouldn't have this problem wouldn't be wasting water and all that kind of stuff that's why I really can't stress enough that you make sure that you do everything you can to solvent weld your pipe right and do it right the first time. Make sure it's clean, make sure you get good primer, make sure you get good weld on there. Do everything right, and if you do it right the first time, man, that thing is, that system, those pipes, your joints, all gonna last a really long time. But if you don't, you got a problem like I've got today. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. From a licensed irrigator to a licensed irrigator, and homeowners alike. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you don't miss any tips.